Welcome back to Houston. Alex Newhook having himself a great playoff run so far. Round one, he put up nine points. We did go to seven games. And he's currently on the second line with Olafson and Boss. That line is doing unreal. I moved Zabinijad up to play with Barzell and Raymond. But yeah, things are clicking right now for sure. It's looking good. We got new hook um, at 86 overall, but hopefully he'll grow a little bit more. I mean, he is 27 already. I don't know if he's going to want 7 million again or not. Hopefully not, but there's a good chance that he will. Uh, Brown will probably be leaving the squad after this year, but that is fine. We have him on a very cheap deal for his overall, and he is 34. So, yeah, we can replace him. Our defense looks like this. Pretty solid back here. And in Nets, we've got Esteban Teal, the man, the myth, the legend. And then Di Pietro, who just does not do well. I'm going to be honest. I mean, we do have him at 1.5 million, and he's 85 overall, but... I feel like we could get an 81 overall goalie that plays better than he does. Regardless, he seems to be a fan favorite and people want me to keep him. So he's still here. McLeod is the third line center. And yeah, the team overall, I think we look like we could have a very deep playoff run this time around. But I've said that previously as well. And it hasn't really worked out historically. So let's have a look at the Edmonton Oilers. See what they're packing and what we're going to be going up against here. Edmonton, there you go. So they got Nuge, 98 overall. Connor McDavid. Wow. All right. That's um, that's pretty good, right? <laughs> I think. And then they got Marcheseau playing with him. Dreisaitl at 97 playing with Beckman and Mulgan. Yamamoto. Okay, so yeah, their team is just really good. It just is. This is scary, but we could take them out. Defensively, why do they have Nurse on the second pair? That is odd. Anyway, our defense are better. There is no question about that. We definitely have a better defensive core. Offensively, we're deeper, I would say. But they have more firepower with these two guys. And then, I guess, Nuge. Yeah, you know what? I think we do have them offensively too. And then in net, we definitely have them. So let's see. Let's see how this goes. I have a good feeling about this series though. All right. Hammerheads. Edmonton Oilers. Round number two of the year seven playoffs. Sim up to next game. Here we go. The first two games are at home. So we need to at least come out of here with one. I'm thinking. First period. Oh yeah. There we go. Zibanejad on the first line. Good stuff. Second period. Oh no, they tied it up. Gavrikov and Dreisaitl got one. We got a goal from Barzell. So that first line producing right now. Good stuff. Five on four power play. And we get a goal from Barzell after the power play, as a matter of fact. But a goal for the Hammerheads nonetheless. Halfway through the third. And we have that one goal lead. Which is simply not enough for me and my mental well-being. Oh man, the time is running out. Will we be able to hold on to it? Yes, we do. Boss gets a... Was it... I don't, oh, it was an empty netter. Yeah, okay. For a 4-2 victory. Elliot Moose is on the loose. Puts one into the empty cage. And there are your three stars for game number one. All right, good start to the series. I like it. Let's sim to the next game. And here we go. Game number two. Can we steal two at home? Or will the Edmonton Oilers be able to take one from us? And we'll be headed to Edmonton. 1-1. One, one. First period. 2-1 for the Oilers. Okay, Kavanov got us one. Dreisaitl and Malgan scored for the Oilers. Second. Oh, baby. We tied it up. Zabinijad again. Going to put one in the net, and that makes it 2-2 two two in the third period. Olafson will score early on. The second line and Zabinijad gets one right after. The first line and the second line dueling right now. Marcheseau puts one in past Teal, though, to cut that lead back down to one. And now we have ourselves a hockey game here. Same situation as last time, but this time, the Oilers will score. Ranta puts one in, and that makes it a 4-4 hockey game. No! Joseph scores with one minute left, and the Oilers sneak out a victory. Yeah, right. Dream on, Edmonton. That is ridiculous. Okay, well, very unfortunate. We haven't seen a lot from Newhook, it feels like, but maybe he's getting apples. Okay, well, let's sim to the next game. Yes, please. Oh, dude, that is unfortunate. Very unfortunate. But you know what? 
I believe in the boys. We can do this. Here we go. Game number three. Best of five. First period. Good start. Connor Brown. Second period. 2-1. We still got the lead. Sammy got one for the Oilers. And Barzell gets another one for your Houston Hammerheads. Top into another close third period here. No way. Ranta scores to tie it up at 2-2. Power play for the Hammerheads. And we do get a power play goal from Matt Barzell. Great. That's huge. Puts us back in the lead. But this game is certainly not over yet. Three minutes to go. Two. Nice. Barzell. Is that a hat trick? I think that's a hat trick for the kid. Holy smokes. And you guys wanted me to trade him. Unreal. <laughs> Look at that. Three goals. And we got Sabinajad with two apples. And Raymond got two hamburger helpers as well. So now we are leading the best of five. one nothing. And we are back. No, actually, no. We're still in Edmonton. We are still in Edmonton. So... Here we go. We will be headed back to Houston after this one, though. First period. Good start. Lucas Raymond. Second. All right. A 1-0 hockey game heading into three. Great performance from Teal so far. Saving all 26 now. Shots of the Edmonton Oilers. Another power play. And we capitalize on the power play again. Barzell putting home the PP goals. Love to see it. Nuge going to cut the lead down to one. Six minutes to go. No way. Why do they keep doing this? March so ties it up. And that will send this game to overtime. This is our first overtime game, actually. Man, are you serious? They really love doing that, but it doesn't matter because Olafson will score in overtime to give the Houston Hammerheads a commanding 3-1 series lead. Let's have a look at the three stars. Teal, a 9-39, 31 saves on the night. Nuge 1-1 one and, one, and March so 1-1, one one, but it wasn't enough. The Houston Hammerheads can move on to the conference finals if they win this next matchup. Yeah, we've got three chances to win here, guys. We have three chances to move on. Please do not blow this. Let's do it here. Simulate this game. Houston, we are back home. First period. That's all right. I'll take that. Barzal has been having himself a series. Holy. McDavid. Haven't been seeing a lot of him, actually, but he finally gets a goal. Next. Ooh, 3-2. 3-2. Elliot Moose is on the loose. Got one. But McDavid and Beckman. So that first line for the Oilers is starting to come out here when they need them most. Third period. Let's see if we can do to them what they love doing to us. They gave a power play, but Edmonton was not able to capitalize. Time is running out here, boys. We need to get one soon. Three minutes to go. We're getting shots. And we just aren't able to score. There you have it. A 3-2 victory for Edmonton. And it is now a 3-2 series. Still in favor of Houston, but... Yeah, that would have been a, a nice game to win for sure. There you go. The three stars of the matchup. Let's continue. And here we go. Another chance to win. We just need to win one of the next two. And we are through. Simulate the game. I'd really prefer if it was this game. Just saying. First period. Oh, no. Yamamoto and Dreisaitl going to give Edmonton a 2-0 lead after 1 and a 3-1 lead after 2. Malgin's going to put one in. We got one from Lejoie, but things are not looking good here. We're going to another Game 7 by the looks of it, unless we have a clutch third period here. Olofsson starting it off right. Oh my, Zabinijad going to score? Make it 3-3? That is huge. Let's go, boys. First and second line coming out again. Five minutes remaining. Now it's a tie game. Shots are in favor of Edmonton for sure at the moment. But Teal playing phenomenal. We're headed to OT. We need a golden goal here, guys, to move on to the conference finals. Don't you dare, Edmonton. Stay away. They have almost 50 shots now. They are putting up quite a lot. And there we go! There we go! Olofsson with a huge overtime goal. What a series from him as well. You legend. Three stars. Let's have a look. Olofsson, two goals. Yamamoto and Mulligan got one apiece for the Oilers. But it doesn't matter. The Oilers are going home. And the Houston Hammerheads are moving on to the conference finals. And we see that Toronto and Carolina both won their series. And it looks like we're going to be facing the Avs. All right. So let's simulate. Stop simulating. Yeah. Colorado Avalanche. Very similar record to the Oilers by the looks of it. And... They finished 6-4-0. and oh. All right, well, let's sim up to this game here. Simulate. Yes, please. 
I am ready to go. Colorado Avalanche, Houston Hammerhead. Let's have a look at our player stats so far just to see how everyone is doing. Player stats. And we have Varzal with 14. Newhook also has 14. Olafson point a game right now. Yeah, he is on an absolute tear. Raymond has 12. Zabinijad with 11. Boss has 11. Sergachev is up there with 8. All right, so we are getting some pretty solid performances all around, other than Fabian. But he's up to an 80 now. He actually went up one overall. Proud of you. Okay, Robert Thomas, 83. Let's go to our goaltenders and see that Teal is 8-3-2 with a shutout, 9-15, and 250. So he is still playing quite solid. There you go. Well, the boys have done it. We are in the conference finals against the Colorado Avalanche. I will see you guys soon so we can start that series.